In this video, we're gonna cover the five things that kill your sales. Hi, I'm Matt Elwell of the Elite Closing Academy, and in this video, I've worked out over the years that there are five key things, and these five things for me literally just kill sales. The first thing that I see that kills, like, it's like, oh my gosh, stop it, is not pushy salespeople, but salespeople that start hard with it being all about them and their products and their services and their story and their results and all the reasons why you, they think you should do it and that's where assumption and presumption live but it's all about it's a, a them attitude rather than us and I, I believe that the first thing you must do is always make it about your prospect by asking questions about them what do they need what are they what have they seen about you that they like so that's the first thing the second thing that I see that goes wrong the most is once that salesperson's done all the talking, they don't do even more talking with features and benefits selling, which is what I class as hard telling. Hard selling is hard telling. And they're just telling you all the things they think you wanna hear, and you're just going to sleep. Because it's like really like, it's not about you. Nobody wants to understand you, they just wanna tell you what they think about you. Remember, humans are so powerful, so amazing, so unique, that actually we like to be heard in the sales process, particularly when you're selling, not when you're closing, but when you're selling, which is understanding, it's really important that you ask rather than tell. Now you do have to have some features and benefits. A human needs to know when they're being sold to, how it works, what the options are. It's called logical information, but they don't have to be told. Just ask, what information would you like from me? so that you can make an informed decision about whether or not this product or service will work for you and get an even better result. So that's the second thing. The third thing is when a deal is based around money and price. And firstly, I wanna challenge you to get rid of your own patterns and, and get rid of the word price, get rid of the word cost, and look at it much more in a way that it's an investment of money. It's important as a closer that when you're prospecting prior to a written proposal and prior to then going on to start and to close rather than sell, it's critical that when you're selling, you ask questions such as, the money's important, I understand. Here's the options. Position the pricing at this stage, fine. But it's important that you say, look, other than just the money, what else makes this deal valuable to you? What else makes it valuable to your business, to the environment, to other people, your dependents. Like what other value, other than just money, is there in, in, in doing this deal? That is, that is a massive question. You see, when, when people just make it about money, and it's just about money, often everyone's fighting to get the best price, and actually, when you create massive value, price becomes less important it's the end result it's the other things that happen as a result of doing the deal that become really valuable to people it's important to find that out the fourth thing that i see is a lack of certainty that kills deals where a salesperson will go into what i call get energy where they're trying to get a result for themselves and often uh, like that moment where they're sort of like they're ready they're they're, they're sort of too keen they're they're ahead of it, they're, they're almost desperate for you to exchange cash, money, invest time, money, energy. They're almost desperate, and it's amazing how powerful and how in tune we are as humans. We pick up on it. We pick up on body language, on eye contact, we pick up on tonality. And we're so tuned into tonality that even the wrong tonality during the process could just send somebody into like, woo, 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 and just, just need to look out for this person because there was something wrong in the tone. In fact, it's something I do teach tonality. It's so important that you get your tonality right because it's a reflection of what's going on inside. So if you're a bit all like trying to get the sale, it creates uncertainty in the buyer and uncertainty is a killer of a deal. 
So the other thing that is tuned in to certainty is the words that you use. So it's really important that you master language and use great words. I teach something called five W's and one H. What, when, how, who, which, and where questions. And they create certainty because you're asking and when your prospect is choosing, you're in control. And the last thing, an absolute killer in a deal. And it's amazing because it actually starts at the beginning. The thing that I believe kills the most sales is just simply a lack of trust between humans. Remember, businesses are people, and within the businesses, the people deal with people, and people do business with people they like or look like. They are looking to be able to trust straight away. We're so powerful. So there's only two reasons why this goes wrong. Either you've done something that leads them to lack trust in you, so they don't trust that you've got what they need to get them a better result, or they don't trust themselves to implement it. And those are the five key things that I see that kill sales the most that you must look out for, that you, your sales team, the people involved with the process must master to make sure that you become an elite closer. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, ping the notification bell so that you get the free training every Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. And lastly, and there's lots of other videos on this channel over here somewhere that you can check out.